Hey guys, I'm DMC from the Omnic Post with an update on Overwatch 2. They're currently ongoing Overwatch 2 beta. Blizzard tried some experimental changes for Symmetra. The idea or the goal was to bring her in line with the new 5 vs 5 meta. Basically make her faster. And as always, these things come at a cost, which are nerfs. It turned out that this cost was a little too high. Symmetra players were not happy, and during their latest developer blog, Blizzard admitted that the changes did not end up meeting the hoped results. So they are going to tune back some of the nerfs, and they are looking into buffing her primary fire by making it get to level 3 faster. With 5 versus 5, and especially with one less tank and less shields on the battleground, charging her primary fire was more difficult. But I'm afraid that this change will just create new issues. It is just another step in the game that they are playing with Symmetra for the last few years, tipping her back and forth on the balance scale. As I said before, I am not the best person to judge. I am in no way the most avid Symmetra player. I used to play her years ago, but after they gave her the wall ult, I kind of gave up on her. Which saddens me because she had some really interesting elements to her. And the wall is not one of them. Neither is the beam by the way. Even though it can be crazy powerful. The thing is, I would not be able to say how they should tweak her current kit to make it work. Because I don't think it can work. I feel like we're just holding on to it because we would miss certain elements. I've been saying this for a while, but I personally think that it is time to start from scratch with Symmetra. Strip her down to her core. I mean strip her kid down to the core, you little buggers. We need to start figuring out again who she is and see in what direction it takes you. Build her up again. Make her a valuable character on the roster like they did with Orisa. Now one thing I've been hearing a lot is to put her back in the support category. And yeah, the support category has been underpopulated. And Blizzard has been talking about the fact that they want more Mercy style healers. Where it's not as much about aiming but about strategic thinking. Call me crazy but I think Symmetra as a personality would fit perfectly in that. The most fun that I've had with Symmetra in the last few years was during that April Fool's experimental card where her turns could heal. It was confusing AF and it definitely needed tuning, but I felt it had potential. The reason I think that they're not pursuing this is A because some people don't want her to move categories and B turns are stationary. So making her healing impactful enough in a game where everybody is moving, where everybody's running, flanking, jumping back and forth, it is very very difficult. But what if you turn those turrets into totems? They've had them in World of Warcraft and there are other games that do this. Light totems. I can already see the art. It would look beautiful. Give her the ability to have two totems up and heal in a circle. Maybe with tendrils that connect to players. But the totems could be destructible and she could be able to move them on a cooldown. Exarius like bubbles, but preferably shorter. You could have the healing from those circles stack in case you put them close together. Now she can keep her bubble gun or her beam to do some damage. And for E, what about a personal teleport? A great perhaps. Just as slow, just as obvious. So she has to think before she moves, but on a slightly shorter cooldown, so she can bail out if necessary. Give it less verticality than Reaper's ability, definitely make it less edgy. Or maybe she makes a gateway that is open for 3 seconds. So she can move back and forth, place her totems and do some of that cheeky aha I'm behind you damage. Her ult? Well that's a little trickier. Personally I do not like the wall. It does have its useful moments but it's a freaking wall. Give her a dome that blossoms out of a device that she can throw. Have it grow smaller over time. Or maybe the other way around and make it bigger over time. So everybody's in the dome at the end. Time for a party. This would definitely be more contained than just planting a wall mid map that is being used for 0.2% if it is that much. But above all, it would be more fitting for a character like Symmetra. She's so elegant. She doesn't build walls, come on. But the fancy dome would make Winston jealous. Fine. But if you give him a jar of peanut butter, he'll just forget that you're even there. And if that doesn't fit you, we could also go back to the old school portal. But yeah, that had its own issues. Oh, the trauma. I know, I'm getting carried away here. But my point is, if we want Symmetra to be on the roster on October 4th, they need to start the rework now. Or they'll have to keep trying with all this tuning back and forth, which I don't see ending well. But what do you think? Symmetra means, tell me. Can Symmetra's current kit be saved? And how would you do it? Just let me know in the comments. Join me during my streams on twitch.tv slash And make sure to subscribe for more updates on Overwatch.